All right, come give Kelly a hand. Come on, take a hand. What did we take away? Make that go black. Yes, there you go. Thank you for that. Um, what did we take away from Kelly? What did you learn? Just tell me, share with me anything you got from what she talked about. If there's no health, there's no need to, to strive for wealth. Well, health and wealth go together. Yeah, they Next door to each other, I like that. What else? What else? Your yes. bodies might be too acidic. You want pH balance. How many of you remember high school chemistry? Maybe. How many of you don't want to remember high school chemistry? <laughs> All right, so there's something called pH. There's pH, there's really alkaline or acidic and base is what it is. And of course, now we have to say alkaline and, and the other side of that, acidic. The, the idea is this. In an environment, when our body is in a toxic state, when it's not in an alkaline state, disease is rampant. Free radicals, I don't want to try to get too uh, scientific on you, but all kinds of things happen to your body. But free radicals are just things that bounce all against your organs and everything else doing damage left, right, and everywhere else. It starts to wear down our immune system. Our immune system gets weaker, and then disease overcomes us. How many of you know that we have cancers in our body all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we, I mean, from the time we're born, we have cancers. Mm -hmm. The difference is, at a certain point in our life, those that get diagnosed with cancer, our immune system gets so weak that it can no longer take on these cells doing these really weird things. That's what cancer is, the cells that do weird things. Do these really weird things, and they form masses, and they get in the way of things, and they start to spread throughout the body. So the fact of the matter is, is that you really want to get yourself in an alkaline state, but here's the cool part about it. That's what we teach. Here goes a free one. Anybody that bottle water thing? You're going to be okay there, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. She brought it. Oh, okay. Patricia's going to take her out. <laughs> okay. But here's the thing with that. You take water, especially room temperature water. You put lemon in it and let it sit. You'll alkalize the water. I mean, how about the water? How hard is that? But the sign he taught us something different. Those are the types of things we teach you. Those are the simple. Now, how much of that is thought feeling? How much does that take? <laughs> what we're saying here is, is that we can help you. We will have, we are trying to help you today. I didn't even get into the good stuff. I didn't even teach the stuff I was going to teach. But I don't think I needed to today. I think we need to do something else. And you'll get a chance to get that. But what I'm getting at here is there's so much that's there for you. Now, Herophilus said, without health, don't even think about wealth. Gandhi said that that silver and gold thing is good, but if you don't have any health, it doesn't matter. But how many of you know that we need a little gold to get, yeah. to get for the day, all right? All right? And how many know, listen, I've tried it poor, and I've tried it with some cash, and I realize having mm -hmm. some cash makes a big difference, mm -hmm. all right? You know, it, that's I, my, my bills are paid. I guess what? <laughs> my bills are paid. I feel better about myself. And I act better. Like, I really do. Okay. If I got no money, I'm thinking broke. I don't feel good about me. My actions are bad, man. Okay, I got no results going on. That's real. But wealth really is time and money. And the fact of the matter is, things come in their own ways. Now. She wasn't in the room when we started this today, and I'm going to get out of her way right 